guys, welcome back. Today I am filming a super impromptu video. Basically, if you are into makeup at all, I'm sure you have been hearing nonstop about the brand new MAC in the Spotlight collection. This collection consists of four new extra dimension skin finishes that are all in these like beautiful, unique duochromatic shades, and then five strobe creams as well, four of which are new, and one is just like the regular version. And if you are watching this video right after it goes up, this collection is actually launching tomorrow online on November 3rd, and then it will be in stores on November 10th, but it is a permanent collection. Don't worry, don't panic, it's all good. <laughs> and today I actually received a very exciting little sneak peek PR package from MAC, and I was like, I need to do my makeup anyways, I wanna try this highlight right away because what is self -respect? Strained. So I was like, I might as well just try it on camera. I've also never tried any of the extra dimension skin finishes. So I'm going to be doing a little first impressions and demo for you guys today to let you know the scoop on this collection. Because believe me, if you are a highlight junkie, you are going to want to check this out. So there are four shades in the extra dimension skin finishes, like I said. I'm going to talk about these first and then touch on the strobe creams at the end. These are $33 USD or $38 Canadian and they come in really standard MAC packaging. I received the shade Show Gold, which I haven't even opened, but this is supposed to be peach with a pink duochrome. And even on camera, that's picking up so well. Look at that intense duochrome, that's so pretty. Just for a quick reference, you get nine grams of products in these in comparison to like a regular MAC mineralized skin finish. You get 12 grams, this is just soft and gentle. In a highlight from the Balm, you get 8.5 grams. And then in a Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector, you get eight grams. I know you guys are dying to see what this actually looks like, and I am too, so let's open it up and do a swatch. So it's got like little lines and then the MAC logo embossed into it. Oh, the texture is very smooth and buttery. Doesn't seem too powdery though. Oh my gosh, that is so pretty. Okay, moment of truth. Ooh, ooh, but that duochrome, I don't know if that's picking up on camera from this distance, so I'll do close-ups of course too. That's so pretty. Oh, that's so intense too. It's got some definite small fine glitter in it. It's not just like a satin smooth kind of finish, so that's just going to come down to your personal preference. I don't mind a little bit of shimmer. I'm dying to see what this looks like on though, so I'm gonna clip my hair back and start applying it. So I kept things very simple and also totally matte on my cheeks, and of course, I'm not wearing any highlight because I really want this guy to stand out, and I'm going to be applying it with my Sephora number 65 fan brush because my other highlight brush is dirty, let's be real. Yeah, it doesn't seem too powdery. There's not like a lot of powder kicking up or anything, and I'm just gonna dive in. I'm gonna build it up like quite a bit too, just to really see the full effect because my skin is drier at this point. But so far that's looking really pretty. The duochrome is very apparent even in the swatches and applied, which is really nice because sometimes duochromes don't really translate that well. It's definitely getting a lot of shimmer everywhere. It's literally raining glitter right now, but that is what it's looking like so far. I think it's really pretty. Definitely a super unique effect once again. It's definitely a little bit more versatile, like I can definitely get kind of a more subtle effect or really build it up. Ooh, like that's really intense on my nose. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's really picking up the duochrome. Maybe a little bit on my cupid's bow. I'm gonna do a tiny little bit on my forehead too, just really lightly. Apply a little bit to the inner corner of my eye as well, because that's something I typically do for my inner corner highlight. Okay, I'm gonna include some clips of it in like direct sunlight too. I don't know if you guys can see just how intense that is on my nose. I took my powder brush and just kind of tried to like blend it out but the duochrome is making it really stand out, but it is so pretty. This probably isn't a highlight I would reach for like every day, but it definitely gives like this really unique, almost kind of like ethereal glow. I don't see it too much as being peach. It's kind of more like a pink with more of like a red, kind of almost fuchsia duochrome in my opinion, and it does have like a ton of gold shimmer in it. I zoomed you guys in really close and like cranked up my light just so you guys can see what it looks like in more like bright artificial lighting. But it is totally unique to my collection, which I own a lot of highlights, so that's definitely impressive, and I am glad I have it now because it is so different. I will say that if you do have a lot of texture on the high points of your face, you might not love this, because like I said, it does have some like really fine glitter in it. It's not chunky or like super unflattering at all. I don't want to scare anyone off with that, but it is a glitter, like I said. I do have acne scars, but they're more lower on my face, but even in here, it is kind of accentuating my pores a little bit, but not too bad. Just something to keep in mind though, for those of you who are concerned with texture. I have not seen all of the shades in person, but I think my top pick for my skin tone personally would be Beaming Blush. It says it is a pink with a gold duochrome. I think that would be so beautiful and flattering. They also have white with a violet duochrome, which looks beautiful as well. That one is called Soft 
soft frost and finally they have double gleam which is a beige with a silver dual chrome so Definitely so many unique shades to choose from. So quickly I want to talk about these strobe creams from this collection. Strobe cream has been around for quite a while and like I said four of the shades are brand new and then the fifth is just like the original. They have renamed the original pink light to kind of differentiate and strobe cream is just a moisturizer that's meant to help your skin if it's looking kind of dull or tired. It's just like a luminous moisturizer that has kind of like a pearl reflect to it. Strobe cream is $33 USD or $40 Canadian and you get 50 ml of product. I got the shade Red Light, which I'll do some swatches up close once again. This has like a red pearl effect to it. You can use this on its own, you can use it to prime before makeup, or you can mix it right in with your foundation. The effect is very subtle, so if you're someone who likes a product like this, I wouldn't say you need all of them because there's not going to be that huge of a difference. I would say like one or two and you'll be good. I have used this when I have oily skin. And it's also one of my mom's favorite products and she still has very oily skin too so definitely lightweight enough that multiple different skin types can use it. It's got a lovely silky texture and it just blends into the skin really well so if you are someone who like I said likes kind of like a glowy face primer these are really nice. Of course though the standouts from this line are going to be the extra dimension skin finishes. I definitely think you guys should check these out if you are highlight junkies like myself. Even if you have a ton of different highlights these are definitely unique enough that you can justify adding them to your collection. Once the collection is up tomorrow, I'll link the actual products too. This is definitely a gorgeous highlight. I think it looks beautiful and radiant, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and this little like sneak peek at the MAC in the Spotlight collection. Let me know if you're going to be picking up any of the items from this range. Give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and go follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. I am at Sari Rihanna on all three and hit that subscribe button down below if you haven't already, but I will talk to you guys in the next one. Bye guys.